So I've been, you know, I've been kind of sitting here really meditating and playing Persona 5 and really thinking of a video idea to come up with. And the more I play Persona 5, the more I am utterly convinced that this is the game of the year. And I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. I know you're going to say, you haven't played every single game, 24. There, It's only April 24. It's only the first quarter of the year. And you're already saying it's, it's the game of the year? You're full of shit, 24. Look at the reviews from, look at the reviews from reviewers on Persona 5. It's not a perfect 10 out of 10. It's a 9.4 or 9.8 or 9.7. It's 9 point whatever. 24. Zelda Breath of the Wild is a perfect 10 out of 10, 24. Zelda's game of the year is 24. And to those people, I say to you, well, let's, let's look at some facts here. The fact of the matter is that, hey, Persona 5 is the best-selling game in its franchise right now. People, people thought that Persona 5 would be this huge game that a lot of people, the fan base in particular, liked, but not a lot of people would play. It would be a game that not a lot of people outside of the JRPG, the JRPG fan base would play, the, P, the fan base of Persona series would play, and people without a PlayStation wouldn't really care about it. Especially people that aren't going to be, you know, these diehard PlayStation fans that, you know, have a PSP, a PS Vita, a PS Vita Slim, a PS4, PS4 Plus, and, or PS4 Pro, and then they went back, they bought the PS3 Slim because it was on sale. The game sold 1.5 million copies in its first day. That was the, prote that was the projected sales of it during its entire lifespan. And in the first couple of days after its release, it sold over 1.5 million copies. And and to those people that are like, wow, 24, that's so many copies. Holy shit. How did we not see these numbers? But look at the Japan, look at the numbers in Japan. Over 340,000 copies sold in Japan around the same time frame, actually. So globally, in the first couple of days, in Japan, you have over 340,000 copies being sold in the first couple of days it gets its annual it gets its annual revenue in the first couple of days but that's just with sales i'm going to talk about something else here i'm going to talk about some bias that people have why is zelda getting all of this praise why why is zelda getting all this praise i don't understand it if you look at and, and hang on let's let's look at our sales even deeper here Let's look at UK. Let's look at the UK sales. Persona 5, as of right now, it's April 11, 2017. Persona 5 is on the top of the UK sales. Those, those are some British people. Now, I've, I haven't been to Great Britain, but I have been to Europe. Europe, they love their soccer. They love soccer. They love, they love soccer. They, they love soccer almost as much as Americans love football. FIFA 17 is the sixth best-selling game in the UK right now. They love their football. They 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 probably love their Overwatch, their Mass Effect. They love Zelda, but Persona 5, Persona 5, little old Persona 5 from Atlas is the best-selling game in UK. Give the game its credit. It is the game of the year. I don't need to see anything more. I, don't, I, I, know, what's, I know what these companies are going to produce. Really, the only game that I'm kind of interested in seeing is Nino Kuni. And that in the new Uncharted game. But I've heard that it's an expansion pass to... Or I've heard that it's an adaptation and an expansion on some characters that were introduced in Uncharted 2. But beyond that, Nino Kuni Uncharted, I'm not very, I, you know, I'm not very, I, I don't really have a lot of games on my radar. That may be because I'm missing maybe one or two sleepers, but I don't think that there's a lot of games this year that are going to be able to compete with Persona 5. And there's been a lot of great games and there will be a lot of great games. 
But I don't think Zelda is as good as Persona 5. I think Persona 5 blows Zelda out of the water. And if that's and if you're a critic, and if you truly and God honestly believe that Zelda is better than than Persona 5, then and, and I apologize for what I'm about to say, but you need to get your head out of your ass. I mean, come on. The facts show that Persona 5, if you just have to play it. You have people saying, uh, you have people not even knowing anything about the series and playing the game now and, and absolutely loving the game. You have people not even liking JRPGs coming over here and saying, I like the JRPGs now because I, I play Persona 5. What more do you want from Atlas, critics? You gave the game a night. Hang on, hang on. Let me look up some reviews on Metacritic here. Hang on. Because I haven't, I haven't gone and looked at anything on Metacritic because I want to form my own opinion. Hang on, give me like two seconds here. Oh, and by the way, I think that this should be important to mention. Persona 5, the sales on Persona 5, they aren't on Xbox One, PC, and PlayStation 4. They're only on two consoles, PlayStation 4 and Persona, and, and excuse me, PlayStation 3. Two consoles. Two, they don't have any cross-platform compatibility. User score on Metacritic is a 9 out of 10. Critic score is a 9.4 out of 10. Let's see. Look around you. Despite the sacrifice of many brave guardians. Shut the We lost everything. So, everything is gone. Oh my god, Destiny 2. Shut the fuck up. Let's look at some critical reviews on user scores. Okay, let's look at... Let's look at some of the garbage that's being written about Persona 5. Sadly, another dead... Sadly, another dated turn-based JRPG game with mechanics that grow tired and stale within a short amount of time. With a, with, within a short amount of time grinding. Recycling the same mechanics look and gameplay from three generations ago. While critics are working PR overtime to sell people on this exclusive title, it wears out its welcome extremely quickly in the modern era. What, what are you talking about? In an era where JRPGs are free on mobile tablets, are free on mobile tab. What are you talking about? You have to do more than the bare minimum, and sadly, this game does not cut cut it in this day and age. Similar to Tokyo, what are you talking about? What in Jesus H Christ's name are you talking about? You're saying that this gameplay looks dated when it looks beautiful and fantastic. It has its own unique style of art it has its own unique style of of menus it has its own unique style of gameplay it looks visually and aesthetically appeasing and you're saying that it's dated did you play the game i forgot my place good god dated gameplay aspects what what dated gameplay aspects are you talking about are you talking about the turn-based rpg are you talking about the turn-based gameplay there are ways to get around it you just have to be smart enough to be able to understand, oh my gosh, if I use this certain persona that has a nullification or a strength to this certain boss's attack pattern, I can be able to not be able, I, I don't have to grind anymore. Holy, excessive filler and padding. What? And the very questionable culture slash cultural setting slash choices for regular gaming audiences in the west make the game a complete drag it's like this guy just put words together random words and he's like this sounds like a really good sentence very questionable cultural setting slash choices for regular gaming audiences in the west oh well, i hate to disappoint you but internationally there is a huge audience for different gaming genres besides just in the West. And on top of that, and, and let, let's just go back, questionable cultural setting choices. It's located in Japan. It's not as if we're just on Mars and we're communicating with aliens for just no apparent reason. What, what are you even talking about? Come on, man. Just come on, man. Make the game... Music is also extremely grating. I can kind of agree with that. There are very little tracks in the game. That's really the only criticism that I can actually... That's actually justifiable. But even then, the music isn't a drag as he... Or, or the game isn't a complete drag as he calls it. 
Learning more from modernized JRPGs would have been a smarter move. It does. Do not let blind devotion to anime and anything Japanese, Atoku, or whatever, culture. What is that? At Ataku? What the hell is that word? Hang on. A young person who obsessed with computers or particular aspects of popular culture to the detriment of their social skills. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just looked up this word, Atoku, whatever the hell this, whatever he just said. In Japan, a young person who is obsessed with computers or particular aspects of popular culture to the detriment of their social skills. Hang on. Do not let blind devotion to anime and something and anything Japanese Atoku culture fool you with this one. What? This is a game literally about hanging out with your friends. Again, it's like this guy... This guy, it's like this guy literally just put words in a sentence, random words in a sentence, and it's like, oh, okay, this sounds kind of correct. I'll just type this in and write another garbage post on Metacritic. Save your money for Yakuza, maybe. One of the worthwhile Japanese exclusives. Listen, if you want to hate on the game, fine. But if you're literally going to just spew ridiculous comments, and and not if if you're gonna have an actual criticism about the game, I disagree. I don't like the music. I think that the music is very limited in the game. But that doesn't detract from the fantastic gameplay, the fantastic soundtrack that's even in the game, the character development that's in the game, as well as the gameplay that I personally like in a JRPG. Is it turn-based? Absolutely. But if you're smart enough and you understand how the game is supposed to be played, you can get around the turn-based stuff. If you, turn-based turn -based gameplay, excuse me. If you don't like turn-based gameplay, if you don't like the grind of turn-based gameplay, if you don't like having to spend hours upon hours upon hours grinding, this is a game for you. Have I needed to, to grind to get past certain parts of the game? Absolutely. But it wasn't as long as people are trying to make you believe in the sense that, oh man, you have to grind for every single dungeon. I went up against Kamashida, Kanashiro, Madarame, and then I went up against Futaba. None of these names you'll none of these names will mean any significance to you if you haven't played the game. But the only dungeon that I really felt I had to grind in was Futaba's, and that was literally it. That was like the fourth dungeon in the game, or fifth. And that was the only time that I had to grind, and it was a little bit of grinding, maybe 20-30 minutes. I don't understand what you're saying with, I, I don't understand if you're going to, if you're really, really, really going to present some criticism against this game, some, at least be able to back it up with some intellectual comments, some facts, please state some facts. I'll read one more comment. These are, by the way, the top three, but I want, I want some some context, some argument. I don't want some, I, I don't want some, okay, so there's literally only like three arguments. Needlessly prolonged, repetitive, and will punish the player randomly, undoing hours of work, save, they, hang on. Let me finish the entire comment. A big disappointment playing this game is tedious and really does feel like more work. There's a nice style about it that's, about the only praise I can give it. Well, for starters, he places a quotation mark, doesn't end the quotation mark, so I'm assuming that he's quoting himself, even though there's no need to quote himself because his, his opinion is really, really annoying. Listen, listen, I don't have a problem with you sharing your opinion because having an antithesis can lead to synthesis. Having, you know, the opposite end of the spectrum can lead you to come up with a whole complete picture about a perspective or uh, a perspective on something, whether it's a video game, whether it's a movie, whether it's, a, whether it's you know, a book. But if you're not even going to actually come up with an actual argument, with actual criticisms, criticisms, excuse me, where we can have an actual conversation about it, then you're just spewing hate. And, gar and it's garbage, and at that point, your opinion doesn't matter. Listen, needlessly prolonged. The game's 80-something hours. The game's, the, 80, the game's 80 to 100 hours. And in this span of time, in almost 60 hours, I have not seen 
anything that says that it's needlessly prolonged. Repetitive. I can see how it's pr repetitive in the sense that you are going in. Wait a second. No, I don't. I don't see how it's repetitive, actually, because with each dungeon, the, even though that you are going in and you are stealing people's hearts, the dungeon's layouts, for example, are completely different, and the reason why you go in the dungeons are completely different. By the time you get to Futaba, there's a whole different reason why you go into her dungeon. And we'll punish the player randomly. Again, if you... Listen, that's like... Listen, listen. You're like the lady at McDonald's that goes to McDonald's, orders a cup of coffee, and sues McDonald's because the coffee is hot. What, like, like, what are you talking about? Punishes the player randomly. Again, if you're smart enough, you'll be able to get past the grinding. You'll be able to get past the bosses. Be, you'll, the gameplay will be easier for you. Listen, I have the gameplay on normal right now. Normal is the third hardest difficulty in the game. There's five, I think, difficulties in the game. Uh, the hard, the second hardest being hard, second, the third hardest being normal, and then there's easy and there's safe. Safe and easy, you can literally just press start and power on through the gameplay to experience the story. Like, punishing the player randomly, A, if you save, which, by the way, the game Guinness, hang on, this comment is actually fake news. Sure. Go ahead. Because the game gives you the option to go back to a checkpoint in the game. Or it gives you the option of going back to a safe room in the game that's on the same floor. So this guy is literally lying at this point. Because you can, because A, the game doesn't punish you randomly because you die. You die, right? That's how you, you lose hit points and you die. And then the game, Persona 4, by the way, way more punishing in, the, in this aspect where it does just doesn't restart you. Uh, on on the floor, it literally says, you can't restart at this boss. You have to literally restart at the beginning of your last save file. And that's it. So punishing the player randomly, I don't understand that when you literally get to go back to your safe room and you get to go back to your prior save and you also have safe rooms where, uh, and you also have better persona, in my opinion, during some floors, especially in Futaba's dungeon, there is literally one persona, Isis, that is the that is the antithesis of every single persona that can one shot your party because she has nullifications to both darkness and light abilities, which one shot your party. And there's a pretty strong persona in that specific dungeon that can one shot your party if you literally have a new if you literally have Isis in that specific dungeon you shouldn't be one shot because she denies you being one shot like punishing the player randomly if you're smart you'll be able to get past it undoing hours of work why aren't you saving they give you you can literally save anywhere in the game outside of dungeons it's not my fault and it's not atlas's fault that you literally don't do the one thing that you're supposed to say do in jrpgs save and you literally die in dungeon because you're not smart enough to use your personas you're like the fucking guy that's like i'm gonna eat a bunch of food i'm going to eat a bunch of hot dogs a bunch of cotton candy i'm gonna spin around three times before i get on a roller coaster then i'm gonna puke my fucking guts out on the roller coaster because i ate like five chili fucking cheese dogs some cotton candy and then i went on the roller coaster like five times and then i'm gonna complain to the fair to the county fair and to the roller coaster because i didn't want to lose my lunch because i'm too fucking stupid to eat or before I roll, go on a roller coaster, discombobulate myself, then go on that roller coaster. You're that fucking guy. Because what you're saying here, undoing hours of work, Atlas has given you, they've given you an opportunity to not fucking die. They've given you so many different options. They've given you persona that help you through the dungeons. They've given you stats. They've given you jobs that you couldn't access in Persona 4 Golden. They've given you better ways to increase your social links so that way you don't waste time. They've given you Morgana who ha they've given you They've given you so much in the first couple of hours of the game to be able to succeed. And they've given you the time to be, like, you would have to literally not pay attention to what's going on in the game to be able to come up with this audacious caution, uh, comment. Seriously. Like, if you're a troll, I understand. Haha, ha, you're a troll. Whoop-de-fucking-do. Whoop Go fuck off. 
But it's like, if you're an actual person that really thinks this about the game, like undoing hours of work, will punish the player randomly. There's no way I can help you. Like, there's so many resources at your disposal that give you the ability to progress through the game easily. Like, you can turn the difficulty off. Like, you, the game, the game, the game's difficulty is just easy. Not even easy, but mindlessly easy, where you literally can just press one button to be able to get through dungeons. And you want to complain that, that you lose hours of work. I, I just don't understand it. I really, really don't. I can't help you. You know, you're, I, I can't help you. The critics can't help you. I can't help you. I mean, my only suggestion to you, if you, my only suggestion to you, if you really find this game difficulty, or if you really find this game difficult, you should turn off your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3, unplug it from your TV, go to the nearest lake, throw it in the bottom of the lake, because the lake is going to use your PlayStation more, your PlayStation 4, your PS3 more efficiently than you can. Because if you can't figure out, like this isn't difficult, if you cannot figure out the simplicity in the game, how the game makes it easier for you to play the game, there's nothing I can do to help you. I'm sorry that you, you had to bear with me through this rant. I just do not like people misinterpreting not even i i don't like people that just go on and and you always have people that'll spew hate against against video games against people against books against movies for no apparent reason at all just to just to be cute and but just to be cute but their opinion overall doesn't really matter you know this guy's opinion whoever these four people are that you know took the time out of their day to write fucking uh, paragraphs and short novels uh, on why they think Persona 4 or Persona 5 is a terrible game. Their opinions, they don't matter. I mean, you can just tell by reading their comments that they have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, good God. If I, I do want to apologize for just talking about this for the last couple of minutes, but I mean, hey, <clears throat> but I mean, this is something that I that annoys me in the sense that a guy literally wrote well, how the fuck do you say this? Hang on. Otaku. Otaku in a sentence and used it wrong. And I didn't even know what otaku means. But I mean, hey, if this is how you want to spend your days, your you know, the day that the game is literally released, how hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't realize this until now. This was like the day after and the day of the game was being released. So you know, like I, I haven't even talked about what I think about the game personally. I've kind of aired out a little bit of my grievances as well as I've talked a lot of uh, a lot. Also, I've talked about a lot of things that I really do like about the game. But these people have been commenting about the game in the past two days. Or not in the past two days, but the day that the game was released and the day after the game was released and two days after the game like unless like there's no way that they could have actually have completed the game this is how you know that these comments are bullshit they literally played the game like there's no feasible way that they could have actually played the game fully in a day to two days the game that there's literally not enough time if they played the game 24 hours straight for two days two three days couldn't get through it I mean, these are the people that are writing stupid ass comments. Anyways, this has been 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. I do want to apologize for, for talking about shit like this because their opinions, they do not matter, but it's just something that I really wanted to get off of my chest. But I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll be playing Persona 5. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time.